Consumers equilibrium in case he buys only one commodity. Now the situation that we are looking at in this case is, let's say there is a consumer and he is buying only one commodity, let's say tea or rice or wheat. He is just buying either of them, not more than one but only one commodity. So in such a case, when can he be said to be in equilibrium? Okay. Now we saw something earlier where it says that you know the marginal utility according to the assumptions of the utility approach we saw that marginal utility can be cardinally measured or it can be measured in terms of money right so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to see that as the consumer consumes more and more commodities of goods okay at a price a particular price and we have assumed that the price is constant okay so the goods are given it could be either tea or rice or wheat one assumption second marginal utility can be measured in terms of money okay third the value of the money remains together which means that it does not change okay and the consumer income is given these are the four assumptions now assuming all these four assumptions are there when will the consumer achieve equilibrium now we understood something which I am just going to repeat. We understood that as the number of commodities or the consumption increases from 1 to 2, let's say at 1 the marginal utility was 16, okay? At 2 let's say it was 13, at 3 let's say it was 12, at 4 let's say it was 10, at 5 let's say 8 and then 6 right this is the marginal or the incremental utility which a consumer derives as he is increasing his consumption of goods and services right and this is also expressed in terms of rupees or the money right so let me ask you one thing just forget this for a moment okay let's say you go out in the market and this is you don't take it otherwise it seems to be a funny creature but let's say okay let's say not you but mr x some funny creature who's here goes out he's a rational person okay he doesn't do foolish things now he went to the market to buy rice okay the seller sold him the rice okay normally the rice mr x is aware is available at 50 rupees a kg okay Now, the utility that he is going to get out of this 50 rupees of rice is worth rupees 60. Okay? So, is he going to buy it? Yes. Let's say the utility which he gets in second case is 55. Will he going to buy it? Again, the answer is yes. Why? Because the utility he is getting is more than the price he is paying. In the third case, let's say it's 50. Will he buy it? Maybe. Why? Because in any case, whatever he's paying, he's get the value of it. But if the utility which he gets is only 40, which is less than what he's paying for, is he going to buy it? No one will. No rational person will. Okay? Unless there is some extraordinary committee or some extraordinary circumstances which we are not considering now. Similar is the case when you look at this chart. The consumer has something which is available to him at 12 rupees, price is constant. The value which he is getting from it, the utility that he is getting from it, the marginal utility is 16. Because the utility is more, he will buy it. Again here, because the utility is more, he is going to buy it. Here, at least what he is paying for, he is getting, so he may still buy it. But here, Obviously, if I pay you 12 and I get worth rupees 10, I will not. Similarly not, similarly not. Right? So what we understand is that when the price is 12, how many units will the customer or the consumer buy? He will buy 3 units. 
Why? Because for the fourth unit, what will happen is he will be paying more but getting less. So he will be, be happy only buying up to this point. Right? So anywhere above this, the consumer gets a marginal utility which is more than the price he is paying. But here, as he starts buying the fourth unit, the marginal utility will actually start decreasing and he will stop his purchase. He is not going to buy it. Okay, and it is at this point when we say that the consumer is in equilibrium. For one commodity, a consumer is in equilibrium when the marginal utility of the commodity or the good he is purchasing is equal to the utility of price paid. So utility of price paid is how much? 12. Marginal utility of the good is 12. Both of them are equal at what point? at quantity of 3. So he is said to be in equilibrium at this point. Right? Now if you try to put this graphically, the way this is going to look like is, let us say for example this is your graph, you have price and utility on the y axis, you have quantity on the x axis, 1, 2, 3. So at point 3, we know that the, let us say, price is 4, 8, 12, 16. When both the price and the utility are at 16 and the quantity is at 3, this is the point of consumer equilibrium. It is very simple to draw. The quantity is 3, we know that, okay. The price is 12 both for the price as well as the marginal utility. So price and utility are reflected on the y-axis. When these are 12, the quantity is 3, the consumer is in equilibrium. Okay? So this is the point of consumer equilibrium.